everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels, and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These readings are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, and most importantly, have a really enjoyable and positive week. So Leo, let's look at your cards for this week. And from the Teacup Tarot deck, your overall energy here is the Four of Teacups card. Now that card is a mindfulness card and it reminds you to stand back and look at the bigger picture because there could be a golden opportunity right beside you that you're missing out on. And as you can see, look, she's so focused on these three little teacups in the background She's missing the fact she's got a full teapot and a full teacup right behind her. So for you this week, stand up, look around, look at the bigger picture. Make sure you've got all aspects of the situation covered. Your help or your hurdle, we've got the three of wands and this card says time for you to do the groundwork. Now, this is the card of abundance coming in and more so, it's the card of long-term planning. So this is a time for you to start these new projects, to start these action steps. Now, the long-term goal here is the healthy forest, but she can't re actually achieve the goal until she plants the little seedlings. And that's just what you need to be mindful of this week, looking out for this opportunity. And when you find it, starting those first action steps towards it, because when you take one step towards the universe and the angels, they will take 10 steps towards you. Now, your guidance here, we have the Ten of Wands, and this tells us that a busy time is over with now. You might have had a stressful time or a time when you were just so busy. This time says that's finished with, that's done with now. Take time out to rest, relax and recharge your energy levels. How can we help ourselves? We've got one of the major arcana cards this is 16 life experience and this asks you to make those positive changes now this card says take all your experience with you all your life experience all your wisdom with you everything that you've learned so far all your pearls of wisdom and be ready to make those positive changes now. Now, this could very well have to do with starting a new project, planning long term and finding a new opportunity that you didn't realise was there. Pulling it all together, the Knight of Teacups comes charging in on the motorcycle. Again, a fast moving energy. And the Knight of Teacups brings with them the message to stay balanced, stay emotionally balanced. Take rest when you need it. Just go steady this week. Don't be racing off and doing a million different things for everybody else. Just go steady and just stay balanced. And the final outcome card, the five of wands, reminds you not to get caught up in anybody else's drama. Leave it where it is. You focus on where you want to go. You focus on the sunshine and keep walking forward. If there's any nonsense going in the background, leave it where it is. So just to summarise the tarot cards, Keep your eyes open for an opportunity which could be right beside you. Be ready to start those first action steps and do the long-term planning. Rest and relax when you need to. Stay balanced. Get a good balance for yourself this week and be ready to make those positive life changes and don't let anybody else's drama or nonsense hold you back. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. 
The five of thought, again, this is about moving in a new direction, making new plans and learning from experience. Now, we were talking about that here with the life experience card. We were also talking about making new plans here. So this card comes as an extra little nudge from the angel saying, have you got that? The eight of life comes in and says, try something new. It might be time to step out of your comfort zone a little bit. But principally, this card asks you to pay attention to the small details. So this is reading the small print twice, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, making sure that those tiny details are in place because they can make a huge difference. The Ten of Emotion is very much the happy ever after card, emotional fulfillment, happiness, quality time with loved ones. Trustworthy relationships. Absolutely beautiful card. This is the happy ever after card. The two of thought reminds you to make a choice or a decision. And this card says you already know what to do. Listen to your intuition. Go within. See how things feel. But this card prompts you to make a choice because it's in the indecision that's keeping you stuck. So if you've got choices to do new things, if you've got more than one choice to start a new project, check out all the small details. Make sure you know everything about it and then make a positive decision. The Ten of Life, how lovely under the Ten of Emotion. Again, it's another really happy card. This is again focused on family quality family time, appreciating the little things, time spent with loved ones. And it also is the card of financial security. It's also the card of peace of mind. So that's absolutely beautiful coming in at this point in the reading. And the final outcome card, here you are. You're obviously going to take notice of the new opportunity and start working on it. Because the six of thought comes in and says, this is on you moving on and feeling good. This card very much comes up when there, things have felt a little bit stuck or a little bit stalled. Not anymore. This is you moving on. It might even be you taking a holiday, moving on and feeling good and expect the situation to improve. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have. Click that subscribe button. It's fantastic when you do. I really appreciate you doing that. It makes such a difference for me. And also, you'll get notified when I do the next readings for you. So take care now, and I'll see you soon.